Anyways, hello! Konnichiwa, hello, how's everyone doing? We back once again for yet another character impression. This time we have uh, I'm not sure if I should call him Ragatsu or Rugezo man. <laughs> it's it's kind of funny. His name is funny as hell. Alright. Uh he's a uh, fire boy, he is has 1250 HP, he has 9800 attack. He's an attack based character, it's some fucking attacker looking guy, he's human, he's physical boy, as yeah. His uh, first skill is Mind Blowing Meltdown, unworldly fire damage to a foe, while Transcendenza is in effect, activates twice. Wow, Ogi, okay, dude! Oh shit, you can Ogi twice, man! Login! Uh, Fiam, Fiamma, the bad bear. Okay, I'm not pronouncing all these stupid fucking names, dude. Fire damage to all foes, supplemental damage effect to caster. Wow, Sugoi. Consumes one an energia to attack twice each turn. Wow, Sugoi. Uh, Mi Mitra Mitraglia, the Kolupi. Oh my god, these are uh, different language names. It's so hard to pronounce. Trade fire damage to a foe, remove one buff. Activates twice upon consuming one uh, energy. Oh god. Senon dab dab bad. The sacrifice caster's HP to gain transcendia effect. Instant CA standby. Will be knocked out when effect ends. What? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so he just dies? <laughs> So after two turns, he just dies. <laughs> freedom! Yeah, that's true though. He just fucking suicide and die, right? And then freedom! <laughs> Log in! <laughs> Beyond the uh, con constellations. No charge mark gain upon normal attack. Boost to attack. Deal triple attacks counters upon taking damage. Con uh, settle the score. Consume one energy upon normal attacks to deal fire damage to all foes. Starts battle with five. Can recover. While Transcendia is in effect, activates without consuming uh, en energy. So this guy is just a burst character then, I suppose. I mean, he kind of looks like he can, I suppose. Yeah, I guess he can. Alright, uh... Unworldly mod is still the same, right? Tier 50? Yeah. Uh, this one... First skill, he has... 635,000 base cap. Supplemental is 100k. Yeah, sure, I suppose. It makes me wonder why the hell he has so many turns. <laughs> you just turn this you just need to turn this off, I guess, if you want to full auto this guy. <laughs> That's my guess. But then you won't be able to use this ever. Because this is only <laughs> usable when he's alive or something. But I then again I I don't know. <laughs> well I I can't I can try him out later, I suppose. Uh second skill has 200 k base cap. Three hits, uh, so three, uh, three hits of two hundred k. Uh, then he can dispel, blah blah blah, and then the thing. So the transcendia is undying. This is undying. Uh, forty percent, the lowest up to one hundred and twenty percent attack up and meat eating. And then uh, this thing, and then this thing. Yeah, just be knocked out after the thing ends. <laughs> what the hell is this? Uh, Beyond Constellations... Oh wait, so this one is... He has guaranteed triple, he has boost to 100%... Wait, no. 20% attack perpetuity mod and 100% counters upon taking hit. Oh. Okay. And then consume one to deal the nuke. The nuke is 635,000. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> it does look like you can just use it for, for versus. I mean, you can, I guess you can kinda. I guess you can technically kinda do that. Alright, what's his EMP? Uh, Alright, yeah, I do get, I did get that guy. Uh, EMP, he has 2 NVT, 2 hostility up, 2 crits, 2 HP, 2 defense. Okay, the HP HP defense is useless as hell. 1 attack, 1 fire attack. Yeah, I just give him all the damage, I suppose. Because he looks like he will just die in 2 turns, right? Okay, let's see what we can do with this guy. 
Alright, let's try that in trial uh, for a bit. Win. I need to do that. Do I need to press this? No, right? Because this is only for... Wait, what? That's only for like the... Like to reuse the skill or something, right? Because this allows him to instantly end the cooldown or something. Technically speaking, uh, unfortunately I can't get this, this thing to be after. Yeah, that's not gonna go up anytime soon. <laughs> Oops. Oh wait, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> he can uh, do that first. Uh, how long does this last anyway? Okay. Yeah. Then you do this. And then... Wait, what does that do? Oh, that's just a uh, nuke. So it's like, uh, technically his second skill is actually pointless to ac activate. <laughs> it's actually pointless to activate his second skill. It's like a waste. <laughs> Does that even stack with uh It should right? Yeah I think that should stack with uh his first skill should stack with uh Wilna's I think. Oh, I forgot to press his second skill, his third skill to activate it again. Because that's a one turn only, right? Oh, you only. Oh! It doesn't uh, do it on the turn itself. Oh, I should activate it the turn before then. Oh, okay. I thought it immediately. This, uh, was that re enables it in that same time you press it? Yeah. Okay, wait. I have to press this in turn one. Oh yeah, I need to get the thing. Wow. Who needs uh, who needs three king, right? When you have that guy. <laughs> that guy is awesome, dude. <laughs> I mean, it's guaranteed to bring out your invoker in 3 turns, right? <laughs> Damn, even better than Percival, man. What a, what a god, bro. Damn, dude.
actually insane. But honestly, this is so old school that it's not even it's not even good anymore. <laughs> Because technically these days you want to use fucking Va Zerker or Viking anyway. Just so you can get like free double strike to everyone. So technically speaking, this, this skill of his is actually kind of pointless to have. Uh, he's only giving him supplemental. And honestly, I feel like uh, for like fire's purposes, right? I think having like, uh, like a self-made echo somewhere else might actually be a whole lot better for like a character like for this guy. You know, in comparison to like <laughs> 100k supplemental. Because that would also mean that he needs to have like a lot of uh, people giving him echoes to actually get him to really work, right? So maybe having like, you know, like, yeah, Alanan works, having Michael works, you know, that kind of lot. Even uh, even Percival might obviously will work as well. Or even, or even like the likes, if you say like use Mana Diver on... Uh, on MC or some shit to even give him more. I guess that kind of works out. It's like you probably just need to not. <laughs> you just need to do that basically. <laughs> uh, if you want him to last longer rather than just making him just for like burst purposes kind of thing. <laughs> but seriously, this one looks kind of. This looks like a meme to me. Especially not like. Especially for fire these days, you just use Viking and. Uh, and and Zerker, right? So you you know you use that as your 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 shit as a main hand or whatever. I mean I guess if you don't if you don't have answer, I guess you can kinda use him, I suppose. Uh I think it should because it's two turns, right? It should be able to wait, hold on. Yeah. You can extend this. Like technically you can extend this. Because usually if you can extend it, it will say that cannot be extended, right? So technically you can live a bit longer, but uh... <laughs> But the thing that really like like uh got me confused is that why did why the the because you can get the thing refreshed right the, the the this thing you can get it refreshed right but like why is it end of the turn i feel like he'll be a lot better if he's like on the turn itself at least you know you can actually get extra nuke out of it or something i feel like his nukes were like higher than usual right because of the supplemental stuff he got isn't it? So it's just kind of... It's kind of weird. So it's like basically... It only applies once and... Uh, <laughs> that is the... <laughs> but yeah, I feel like the other thing you can't really see is the fact that... Because you kind of also want Percival to be at Sing 7. <laughs> just so you can actually give this to that guy. <laughs> Cause you, I, I did wanted to see how this fares for, for him, right? When everything is like there, you know what I mean? Okay, you know what? I, I used to use this combo with Esther, but I, but Esther is like providing even more. Just because she can, she can fucking uh, break assassin and everything, right? So I mean, I can just fuck around with this and see how it is, right? Cause this was the, uh, for anyone's wondering who, who, who doesn't know, this is. This was my Nightmare 150 setup back uh, for the last Fire Favorite Guild War. <laughs>
やし尽くしてくれるお前の力を見せつけてやる神戸を垂れるあー Oh wait, yeah, if you use Kirin, you can prolong that, right? Wait, can you recast that? Yeah, you can recast that, right? You can actually prolong that You can cast it again, right? Yeah, you can actually cast it again Yeah, you can actually Kirin it to keep, keep him lo alive longer Because <laughs> you can press again, right? Single attack from Michael, very cool. Yeah, so... See, he has one turn left, right? And then he's dead, right? But you can press it again, isn't it? Yeah, so he's alive from over 10 too. <laughs> yeah, so technically speaking, he's alive again from over 10. Yeah, so technically speaking, you can just do uh, this. I mean, technically, I don't have to do this, but I wait. Wait, can you actually not extend it? Yeah, you can extend it. So, yeah, he's alive for one more extra turn, too. So, technically, if I actually did that on turn one, he can still be alive for one extra turn after this. His Ogi is stupid. It's okay, right? <laughs> yeah, I think it's okay. But I don't know. At the same time, it feels kind of like a meme. Damn, he actually did a bit more than Percival She, dude. Mm. <laughs> Damn, dude, actually did more than Percival, man. Damn, son. Damn, dude. Twelve million more damage, dude. Damn, son. But yeah, I guess it's probably because of his stupid Ogi, I suppose, because. You're technically not supposed to hit that much. He's supposed to be lower if you think about it. Because for us also didn't know um the supposedly Ogi hard cap does not apply in uh, training dummy for some reason. <laughs> Cause uh there are times you were hitting like nine million, right? That was not supposed to happen. In a normal fight, it's supposed to be like six six point six or some shit. That's the hard cap, unless he has like a special you know, the special cap, you know, say like like Octo or even the likes of, uh, what's her name, like Gagliostro Grand or something. Yeah, if you have that, you can go above the cap. But this guy, don't I don't think he has that, so... <laughs> so by right, he's not supposed to be doing higher than this guy. <laughs> but you see, it boiled down to that same old issue again, right? If only they decided to remove or like, you know, make the, the hard cap for Ogi a bit higher, It'll probably make this guy a little bit more viable. I don't know. <laughs> because, yeah, this guy is definitely not supposed to hit this much. I mean, we could actually try the same thing on, like, an actual run. 
Okay, just press that, I guess. I can... I mean... I can technically just press this, though. Not like it really matters, I honestly think. Because he's going to do a fucking uh, plane damage thingy. Damn, look at that counter. <laughs> that counter is so underwhelming though. <laughs> I do not know why. It's so underwhelming that counter. So he has two turns, right? Yeah, so he has two turns. I can... Uh... Yeah, technically I can just press it for extra nuke right now, right? I, or I could just... I, mean, I don't think it really matters, to be honest. I can just press it again. Yeah... Okay, so for this one we can do we can do that. We can do this too again. We can do that. Press that again. Yeah, I mean that's okay. I'm still lacking a lot of damage, but yeah, that's that's okay. <laughs> For people not having uh Esther at that point. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I mean it, it, it seems okay. He actually does did more he did he did actually more damage than him, huh? <laughs> I guess it because I guess having that, that, that extra nukes that you press for his S2 or whatever, I guess that does a little bit more I suppose. Cause like I said earlier, right? The uh, the nukes that that nukes on his second skill he does is actually quite I would say significant because doesn't he auto activate it twice? So he can, I mean, he's basically casting it twice, right? So it's a six hit thing. Because that will just allow you to spam it like what I did earlier. Which makes it more uh, significant with the help of his supplemental damage at least, you know. 
That 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 makes it better. I guess you could. I mean, I'm not sure if you pro make it better if you just put in. Uh, I don't know. Just put like a. Uh, I don't know. Will not summon in there or something to get extra supplemental from summon. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it's okay. I think. But yeah, to me, he's he's a he's just focused on just burst and his. I don't know. I guess it's okay. I think he might actually work out with the I don't know what was what the guy's name, Kane or something. Because I noticed that guy has been popping out lately in like burst setup. So maybe this guy works with uh, that Christmas Kane. I don't know. Because <laughs> uh, I've been seeing a lot of uh, like proto videos for Fire now that involves that guy, like fast runs or whatever. So maybe <laughs> I do not have Kane, so I can't really do it so yeah i mean he's all right i guess <laughs> he seems all right but uh just you know at the same time as i i just kind of find him a bit meme-ish i i feel like that's probably the extent he can go for obviously he's definitely not a, a low level player character kind of thing you definitely want to get a lot of uh, echo a lot of like over cap kind of stuff for him just to make him able to you know do more damage on his uh, autos and whatnot, right? That kind of stuff. Because if not, you're just not gonna really able to make him work, kind of shit. So yeah, it does. Fact, uh, it does kind of be like that, unfortunately. But yeah, I guess that's really all I can say about uh, Ragazzo, man. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.